I mean, just playing my first game here with all the fans. I mean, I think I don't think anything will ever be like it. Just realizing, I mean, I'm on college TV. I'm on TV. My, all my friends are watching. I'm in college. All my friends are in the stands over here and coaching and just starting from my, as a freshman. It was just it was unbelievable. He's been extremely, extremely consistent. Long, athletic, and put it on the floor, skilled. Definitely freshman of the year. 16 points to lead all scorers. It is collegiate debut. You get a win. You told us after shoot around you weren't nervous today. So how did you feel the tip off? I mean, it was just crazy seeing all my friends and seeing all my friends in the crowd and my parents here. I haven't seen them in three months. It's just, I mean, this is what I've been working for my whole life. It's just a crazy feeling. I mean, ever since I was young, my family has been a basketball family. My brother played basketball. My dad played basketball in high school and he loved basketball. And just really ever since my brother would go to his workouts when he was younger, he's about five years older than me, I would just go tag along with him. Kind of molded me to who I am today. He was mean to me when I was younger. I mean, we fought a lot. Probably didn't stop fighting until, I mean, I was about the same size as him and he couldn't beat me up anymore. We had a little hoop on a kind of slanted hill. And every time we play one-on-one, -on -one, I couldn't beat him for like until I was about, what, seventh grade, I finally beat him. And then kind of from then on, it was just competitive. I mean, I've definitely always played an all-around game. I'll kind of attribute that to my brother being a, a point guard. And I was, my dad didn't want me to be in the post when I was younger, because I was one of the taller guys. So I kind of handled the ball when I was in second grade, third grade, even with being the tallest guy on the team. I mean, I just love getting my teammates involved and watching everybody shine. I'd say the most thing I had to adjust to was just being conditioned. Everyone's fast, everyone's strong, everyone's athletic, everyone's really good. I mean, you gotta be in condition and run up and down the court. Definitely kind of what, what Coach has is saying, just kind of stay in the moment and not to overthink too much. One bad game doesn't, it's not the end of the world. I mean, if y'all lose one bad game for a team, losing to a team you shouldn't lose to, I mean, you can always bounce back and just knowing that there's always a light in the tunnel. Some of the players I like to watch is definitely LeBron, just his all-around style, and then now just kind of watching Luka, but really just adding my own flavor to the game and trying to be myself and just be Harrison. I relatively had a late bloom, I guess, getting recruited. I didn't, a lot of people who I guess were highly ranked and highly recruited got offers the freshman year, some eighth grade. I really didn't get my first offer until the end of freshman year. And then that's what Coach has, they've been talking to me since freshman year. And then obviously Stanford is just not just about offering you how good you are, about your whole education and everything. So I waited for two years, did my application, and then I got an offer my sophomore year, I would say. And I mean, ever since my freshman year, I've been close to Coach Hass and Coach Cohen and just the rest of the coaching staff. I mean, Coach Hass, I've been really close with him the entire time, especially when we went to FIBA World Cup. I mean, I was with him. He's probably the only, he was the only person there who I really, really knew. I, was, I knew a few kids on the team, but we got to know each other really well. There's COVID out there. We couldn't leave the hotel, so I was talking to him. I mean, more than I've talked to really anybody. And I mean, we've just been really close. And the best advice he's probably ever given me is just stay in the moment. Everyone's thinking about March Madness, thinking about the good game you had yesterday. But in college basketball, the games come quick. That there's game Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, next Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. I mean, you just have to move on. And if you lose one bad game, you got to perform the next game. If you have a really good game, you got to perform the next game either. The pedigree, not even about the education. Really, the one thing I say really stood out besides coaching, besides basketball, besides the education was just knowing that no matter who I was friends with and what team I was around, if I was playing a football team, playing a football team, basketball team, lacrosse, normal students, I mean, I knew I'd be around good people. Definitely exceeded, 100% exceeded. I didn't know, I knew I was gonna like it, but I didn't know I was gonna love it like this. I love everything about it. My friends, I mean, my family loves it. I mean, I love the team, love basketball, just everything about it is amazing.